Okay. Um, actually, I want to go back to that. The the uh, making a new account. Um, really, it's your account. Buy whatever you want. Uh, you know, you don't don't you don't have to stick with the crowd. You can make a profit off everything. Uh, let me test the skin out real quick. Hmm, it's all right, but it's no bread. I, it's it's weaker. That's that's the sound fault. Okay, here's the AK. Let me do an accuracy test. Okay, it's got it's it's got some decent accuracy. Um, yeah, a guy posted on the uh, the forums the stats. There's there's other posts that the Japanese made and stuff, but basically. Um, Stat wise between the AK and the AN, the AK is just like a few a few a, like a tad bit stronger, they say. But the AN has more um rate of fire. So actually, uh the AN is actually compare compare the two next to each other, the AN is better because you get more shots out and it's about the same strength as the AK. So you you're doing more damage in the in, in a uh in a smaller amount of time than you can with the AK. Um, I've I really haven't used the AK too much. I I used to tr I I used it uh, long ago just to test it out and see what it was like. I I did pretty well with it. Um, let's see here. Uh, also, tips to practicing it better with the AK or the AM. Uh, I des I definitely suggest buying a Beretta and using nothing but your Beretta until it's broken. And that will help train you with your single fire abilities, um, and then that will get you used to the AK. I see uh, with the AK in the end, I def the AK definitely sh uh, the um, target reticle on it shoots up a lot more when I'm using single fire. It doesn't do it that much with the AN. Wow, but okay, I just did full auto there, and it didn't really move too much. But you re you you really shouldn't be using full auto too too much at all except for when you're really close. I'm just kind of testing this thing out. Um I definitely if you if you had to choose between the two If you had to choose between the two, I would go with the AN. Um <coughs> um it's 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 not like you're gonna lose a whole bunch of money buying it. I mean, you can make SP profit, no problem. Your your gun's not gonna disappear. If I mean, if your gun disappeared over a certain amount of time, I'd definitely go with the AK. It's more economic and better, you know, more bang for your money. But since you get these guns forever, go with the AN. It's a it's a lot better of a gun. Um, okay. Oh, also also tips to get better with this. You, you, just practice your single fire and aim for the head. That's what you should do with every gun, though. Is just try and aim for their head. Once once you get that down, uh, you're you're gonna be doing a ton of damage to the enemy, and uh, it's it, you'll 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 really improve. It's it's really great. Um, let me move, see what we got going here. Keep jumping around. Okay, let's see how. The... Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Da da da. Okay, he got me. Good job, dude. All right. Um, a third thing. Um, how to shoot people far out? Uh, like when they're behind a box. Um, someone asked. They said their crosshairs keep. Uh, like it's hard to shoot them. They don't like they aim their crosshairs on them, but it's not hitting them. My guess is behind in Shanghai. This is what they're mainly talking about. This is probably where you'll see it the most. Like Shanghai, there's that single box that a lot of snipers can't behind. Um, really, what you should do is not if you if you can avoid that, uh, you know, run away, sneak up on them, and get closer if you can. That's your best option. Other than that, uh, I re I'm I'm not I don't use a, a repaired sniper rifle or anything, so I don't think I could help you out too much on that. But I have read things in the past saying, uh, like aim a, with the PSG, aim a little bit to the right, and uh, with the FR, aim straight on. I don't know. Really, look that up on the forums. I I I'm really not the best person to to help you out on that. I'm sorry, but I mean, because my suggestion is just. 
you know, uh, throw, throw some smoke, get away from that situation, ch change it up. You don't, remember, you can always run backwards. You, you don't always have to run forwards. <coughs> Sorry. And, um, another thing, throw grenades at them, uh, while you move, because when you, when a grenade, uh, explodes, like, around them, even if it's not doing damage, if it's close enough, it shakes up their, their, uh, crosshairs, you know, their scope, so they have a really hard time shooting you. It's really helpful, helpful thing to do if you can do it. Just practice throwing that grenade. Okay, um, another thing was stealth tactics. Um, really, uh, I guess you could, uh, sneak around, you know, walk and crouch instead of running everywhere. That's one thing to do. Wait for the enemy to come to you. Like, hide behind something and uh, just wait wait for them to pass you okay so you have a really clear shot wait for them to be out in the open where they're not gonna they're not gonna be able to hide jump behind something if you start shooting at them and just take them out uh, you're, you're really just gonna have to go situation uh, take a judgment by the situation and uh, depend on and figure out what you gotta do depending on uh, what your enemy is doing um, try and trick them, you know, imagine, imagine you were fighting yourself, <coughs> imagine, uh, like, uh, okay, you, uh, you start shooting at a guy, and then he starts chasing you, now imagine that you are that guy chasing yourself, what do you expect the person being chased to do, like, do you expect them to turn right, well, if if you think they're expecting you to turn right, maybe you should just stop and turn around, and then, you know, they might have their knife out to catch up to you, thinking you're not going to be there, and you'll kill them. It's just, you just gotta, just, just put yourself in their shoes, and, and just be a little random with that kind of stuff. Stealth in this game, it's, it's, it's kind of not as important as with other shooting games. Uh, there's not really a whole lot of stuff you can hide in. There's really no shadows if you use your light map. I'll get to that later. But um and if people have surround sound and you're running, there's nowhere to really hide unless you're <coughs> crouching. Um Also just just sit in strange places where you, where uh you have a lot of cover where the enemy's not going to be able to see. That's that's the main thing, you know. St go in really strange places out of the way that the enemy's not going to look at right away. Um how to get special points um i've been i've been told i've seen people on the forums they've all said everybody has a automatically has a chance to get um special points um i've <laughs> i've actually never gotten one ever i don't i don't buy armor but so i always thought it was you have to buy the armor to to get that you know the armor that it, that gives you the chance of that um Obviously, well, I mean, people say they've gotten them. I don't know. I don't know exactly how it is, but it's. I I don't think they're really worth it. All they do is improve your experience. And since the I believe the SP recharge system is based on a a, a fixed bar, depending dependent on how many games you play, it's not going to give you money faster. So, I I really wouldn't worry about it. They're not. They're nothing. They're not really special points. They're, there's nothing special about them. They're they're just a little nice add-on if you want to rank up faster, I guess. But <laughs> rank really means nothing. I, I'm just gonna tell you straight out. It, rank and stats they don't really mean too much. Um, tips for knife fighting and how to practice for knife fighting. Do not do not just keep randomly slashing. You you're gonna want to get your timing down, as so you you will slat just do one slash on on uh, right when you're gonna hit the guy. Go right next to him. The, the way I practice for it is, um, hold on one second, let me get a drink here. The way I practice for it is every time I'd run at the beginning with my knife, I'd just slash, pick an object like a corner. Every corner I'd go by, I'd just slash it. And that, that, that taught me the timing. So, yeah, you know, just run back, slash, slash. And, uh, when I'd play people, I'd, I'm, act, I am, I'm actually really good at knife fighting, I guess. I've... A lot of people have trouble beating me. I'm not saying I'm the best or anything, but you know that that's just what worked for me is slashing slashing walls and signs and anything I run behind or next to. I mean, also if you can go for their head, 